الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى سيس في كتابه الكريم وما أمروا إلا ليعبدوا إله واحدة لا إله إلا هو سبحانه عما يشركون الله سبحانه وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم in سورة التوبة verse 31 he تبارك وتعالى says and they were not commanded except to worship One God. La ilaha illahua. And there is no God worthy of worship except for Him. Meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanahu amma yushrikun. Glorified be Him. He. Or He is free from all those things which they ascribe to Him. Who the, all the partners that they ascribed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He's the only one worthy of worship. He's the one who created this palm tree, this, this subhanallah, the sea, the sand, you and I, the sky. He's the one who provides rizq, sustains us. He is ar-Rahman ar-Rahim al-Khaliq. قُلْ مَنْ يَرْزَقُكُمْ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَمَنْ يَمْلِكُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَمَنْ يُخْرِجُ الْحَيَّ مِنَ الْمَيْتِ وَيُخْرِجُ الْمَيْتَ مِنَ الْحَيِّ وَمَنْ يُدَبِّرُ الْأَمْرَ فَسَيَقُولُونَ اللَّهُ فَقُلْ أَفَلَا تَتَّقُونَ Who is the one who provides for you from the heavens and earth? Who is the one who possesses who is all hearing and all seeing? Who is the one who brings about death from life and life from death? Who is the one who plans all of the affairs? The Mushrikeen would say, Barely it's a law. And the reply should be to them as is in the ayat. Then why don't you fear him? Why don't you worship him? Why don't you follow his commands and his favor and his order? And we ask Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ikhlas with thabat ala sunnah to Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam